Chapter 23, Big Melvin. Soon, Ingar Ashley from Channel 4 Eyewitness News arrived at the scene. How did you manage to destroy the Robo-Boogers? She asked. I'll answer that, said Melvin Sneedley as he swoop, swoop, swooped in the front of the cameras. He, he was robbed in some old dra drapes that he had tied around his neck at the last minute, and it looked quite silly. I think Melvin thought those monsters will make with my mighty powers, Melvin said, said, then I destroyed them with my super smart brain. No, you didn't, said Harold. You weren't even there, said, said George. Don't listen to those guys, said Melvin. I beat Melvin and the hero here. Melvin flew above to to be a robo boogers and and use his laser eye beams to burn the letters B and M in front of the dead creatures. Just like Zoru, said Melvin Sneaky. Oh shit, said Big Melvin. Oh shit, oh shit. Sign my antidotes on all of my heroic handiwork. From now on, wherever you see Big BM, you think of me. That's funny, said George. Big BMs have always made me think, think of you. Big Melvin flew over Captain Underpants and grabbed him by the arm. Now, said, said Big Melvin, the entire world shall bear my witness and humiliate and defeat him of Captain Underpants. Suddenly, George and Harold got an idea. They turned and ran back to the school while Big Melvin continued to threaten Captain Underpants. I command you to Bow down to me, shouted Big Melvin. Never, said Captain Underpants. You shall bow down with me, Big Melvin yelled. I shouldn't, cried Captain Underpants. Then, said Big Melvin, as he untied the traps around his neck, you feel the power of my wrath.